I'm Mac. And I'm Brian. And in case you didn't watch the other ones, and this is the first one you're watching, this is segment number three of our summer blockbuster movie segment, um, which we're talking about the state of the movie industry for 2011. Uh, make sure you, uh, we're going to have some links down here. Uh, make sure you check out segments one and two. Um, so, the last movie that we talked about, we talked about Transformers 3. Transformers 3. Um, July 8th is the next weekend after Transformers 3. And we have The Zookeeper with Kevin James where he talks to animals. Mm, like Dr. Doolittle. Yeah. Um, the, uh, once again, this is the, the highlight of this thing is that it's one of the only movies of the year um, out of the five of the summer that are not a sequel uh -huh. or a comic book movie. Really? Yes. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, synopsis, uh, talking animals help uh, a zookeeper uh, win over the heart of a woman so he'll stay at the zoo with them. Hmm. Um, basically, this is a fat guy talking to animals. This is a uh, <laughs> uh, mall cop in a zoo. That's what I think this is going to turn out to be. Sounds an awful lot like it, yeah. Yeah, I think that, because that's what he does. Kevin James has made his name on the physical comedy, uh -huh. you know, and uh, the the fat goofy, the, the goofiness of a fat guy, that's what Kevin James that's, does. And so that's what I think. Is and he's good at it, obviously, because they keep making him. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah. Well, um, he's good at it, according to... The, the dollar somebody, signs at yeah. the end of the week, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, <clears throat> July 15th, another big boy. Uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly oh. Hollows 2. Um, so basically, mm. this is Harry Potter 7. Wait, July? July 15th. Wow, they've been releasing them every Christmas. Yes. So this is an early release for yes, the yes, final piece. Yes, it is. Which um, is interesting. What I've got to say about Harry Potter uh -huh. is that, in my opinion, this is the best managed franchise in history. And... I don't think that a lot of people are going to be looking at the Harry Potters this way, but this is the end of an era. There are 10-year-olds on this earth who didn't, there was not a Harry Potter released in their lifetime. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and this is the end of an era, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I, in my opinion, in my opinion, I think that this is the most significant movie of the summer because Harry Potter is ending this year. I have to agree. You know, I agree. Um, yeah. I have enjoyed the Harry Potters immensely. You know, I, I, I think that uh, they've all been good. And like I said, really well managed as far as being able to keep the kids, uh, all of them, keep the entire cast. I mean, it's pretty that's rare. What, well, that's what's cool about it is the entire cast is still there. Right. And the only person that they've had to replace during this whole thing is Dumbledore. And that was because the original one died. Yeah. You know, and so. Sadly. Very well managed. Um, very well managed franchise that I will be sad to see in. And I think they've done a great job with all of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, July 22nd, uh, Captain America with Chris Evans. I like, you know. Another I, Avenger piece, right? Yeah, another Avenger piece, another, piece another comic puzzle. book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think that, I actually think that Captain America is the biggest piece of the Avengers, isn't he? It must be, yeah. I mean, Captain America is. Yeah. I believe he's the head of the, the Avengers. Avengers. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> um, one of the things I like I like Chris Evans. I, I like all of his movies, um, and I like the way that I like the fact that they started. I mean, obviously they have to start at, at how he became a superhero. Mm -hmm. But I really and, and maybe this is a comic book thing. But I really like the fact that it play, takes place in the forties and not now. I, I like that. Yeah. You know, and it's, awesome. and it's real gritty. It, you look at the trailer and the pieces for this movie, and it looks real gritty. You know, yeah. it looks real gritty, and, and it looks, you know. So I'm looking forward to the Captain <coughs> Americas. It looks um, badass. Yeah. Plus, Hugo Weaving's a bad guy. Yes, he is. Which is awesome. I like him. Yes, he is. Um, and um, July 29th, um, Cowboys and Aliens. Mm -hmm. Another one I'm looking forward to. Uh, John Favreau. Uh, Daniel Craig and Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford and Olivia Wilde for Eye Candy. <clears throat> yeah. How can you go wrong with <laughs> Indiana Jones 007 in the same movie directed by the guy who did Iron Man? Yeah. How can you go wrong with that? I don't think you can. Yeah. You know. I don't think it's possible. Steven Spielberg kind of is too. Is he? I believe so. Hmm. I, think I think you're think right. He, I think he has part in this, yes. Hmm. <clears throat> so add another one. I mean, that's... And plus, John Favreau's 
Awesome. He's awesome. Yeah. Um, and for those of you who have been living under a rock and haven't heard of this movie, um, it's uh, in Silver City, Arizona, Apache and Indians and Western settlers must lay their differences aside when an alien spaceship crash, crash lands in their city. We've already gone over how great this cast is. <laughs> Talk about cross genre. Cowboys fresh, and aliens. Fresh idea. Yeah, here, absolutely. You know, I think that they're taking a huge risk by cross yeah. by crossing these genres. Yeah. And uh, I think it's going to be good. I think it'd be great. You know, like I said, Indiana Jones and 007 in the same movie. Fuck. Good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to... Oh, wait. Well, let's go over one more. Let's go over one, one more. more. This is uh, this is not really um, a huge blockbuster, but you know, the, it's a chick flick called Horrible Bosses with Jennifer Aniston and Jason Bateman. Um, you know, and so far, we've got all these movies we've gone over are catered towards guys and kids. You know, the Horrible Bosses, they're going to... This is uh, one for the ladies. You know, um, and so the, the synopsis to this is uh, three friends. Three friends conspire to murder their awful boss when they realize they are when when they realize he is standing in the way of their happiness. Um, this is like uh, the Switch Part Two, because Jennifer Aniston and Jason Bateman. Right. Their last movie was called the Switch. The Switch. I didn't see the Switch, I didn't but it also that. sounds like Nine to Five to me. Yeah, you a little don't, bit. Yeah, maybe. Kind of. Yeah, and so once again, you know, three coworkers kill their boss, try to kill their boss. <laughs> Dabney Coleman. Yeah, pretty boss. much. Yeah, and uh, we just dated ourselves on that one. And you know, <laughs> anybody who hasn't heard of Nine to Five, Google it. Mm. Dolly Parton, uh, Lily Tomlin, Jane Fonda, Dabney Coleman. Dabney Coleman. And so now they could just call <laughs> this uh, Nine to Five reboot. Which I wonder if it is, but I mean, just from reading, just yeah. from hearing that, sounds a little bit like it might be. Well, that's similar. The, as we've been going over with this, with the you know, with how prepackaged summer movies are, I would, I would venture a guess that it's probably real close to that, you know. Could be. So. Could be. But uh, that's uh, that's about it for this week or for for today. Um, make sure you tune in tomorrow where we will uh, conclude our 2011, and we'll also get into. Uh, what we know about 2012, and we'll also talk about the inception effect. Yes. So uh, come back and join us again tomorrow. Should be good. We'll see you tomorrow.